mysterious person behind the screen and welcome to my DVD review of Planet of Giants, the first Doctor story from 1964. But let's take a look at the cover. BBC DVD, Doctor Who, Planet of Giants. On the left you have um, a giant ant, uh, the Doctor as played by William Hartnell, Susan as played by Kyle Ann Ford, and... Uh, another giant ant, and in the background you have the TARDIS there that I've only just noticed, um, and then the like um, garden that they land in. In this purple banner you have William Hartnell, the William Hartnell years, 1963 to 66, and this DVD is rated a PG. This is the spine, nothing special, but this is slightly purple. It looks slightly purple on your shelf. It kind of, it really does look nice when you put it on your shelf. So there's the front and the side. You have the pictures from the story at the top. Doctor Who starring William Hartnell, Planet of Giants by Lewis Marks. Now if you remember when I reviewed Day of the Daleks as part of Review Week, um, I said that I'd never heard of Lewis Marks before and I mispronounced his name. But uh, I've since got some stories since then that he wrote and uh, I'm, you know... Um. Uh, what's the word? I'm com. I know his writing style now. So, Planet of Giants by Lewis Marks. The TARDIS doors open accidentally while the ship is still in flight. Although they have arrived back on Earth in the 1960s, a time they have been trying to return to since they first met, the travellers soon realise that something is very wrong. The Doctor, Ian, Barbara and Susan discover they have all been reduced in size and the world they are now exploring has dangers at every turn. The special features. Commentary with Vision Mixer, Cli Vision Mixer Clive Doig. Special signs created by Brian Hodgson, makeup super supervisor Sonia Markman, and floor assistant David Tilly, moderated by Mark Ayres. Episode 3 and 4 reconstruction. The final two episodes of Planet of Giants were edited into a single episode for transmission. Using original strips, newly recorded dialogue and animation, this feature gives you an idea of how the original four part version might have appeared. Rediscovering the urge to live. The team behind the reconstruction explained how it was put together. Suddenly Susan, the Lambert Tames, the Doctor, prop design plans, radio times listings, optional Arabic mono audio, um, production information, subtitles, photo gallery, coming soon trailer, and digitally remastered picture and sound quality. This story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 31st of October to the 14th of November 1964. Produced by Verity Lambert, directed by Mervyn Pinfield and Douglas Canfield, incidental music by Dudley Simpson. Steve text, sleeve text by Murray Lang and the cover by Lee Binding. It's 73 minutes approximately, which makes it a three-part story, and it contains mild violence. Inside, we, inside the case we have the disc, which is exactly the same as the front cover, and the booklet, which explains all about the story. And this is a really nice image of the TARDIS, the way it's landed. And I really like the cover to this booklet. It's, it's really nice, and it, that could be a poster, I think. So yeah, what do I think of Planet of Giants overall? Well, this is pretty hated. Um, some people even call it the worst William Hartnell story. Um, fair play to you. Um, but I enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. It's not the best. There are plenty of other stories out there that are much better than this. But it's enjoyable, you know. You could sit down on a Sunday afternoon and happily watch it. It's nice and short. It's only three parts. Uh, you don't really have to think that much about it, and it, it's just an it's just a nice story just to watch and enjoy when you know you just have some free time or something. So that's why I'm giving Planet of Giants a seven out of ten. I hope you've enjoyed watching this DVD review. I'm going to upload more DVD reviews um, now. Like I think it's I before I was quite excited for Series Eight, and I wanted to. Uh, provide more content, not just DVD reviews, um, and after a review week, I kind of wanted to take a break for them. But, you know, I think they're back on track now. I, I'm going to make more of them, and um, I hope you enjoy them. So, stay tuned for more DVD reviews, and I'll see you soon. Bye!